In this video, I will take the problem in which we will be developing the law of machines. Here is a question. An effort of 800 Newton is required to lift a load of 10 kilo Newton. On this same machine, an effort of 1400 Newton lifts a load of 22 kilo Newton. Full stop. Find the law of machine. So here the question is to determine the law of machine. Whatever is given here, I will write that in the form of data. Now, an effort of 800 Newton. So, effort is given. I'll write down this as P1, 800 Newton, is required to lift a load of 10 kilo Newton. So, that I'll keep it as W1. It is 10 kilo Newton, so it is 10 into 10 raised to 3 Newton because 1 kilo Newton is 1000 Newton. So 10 kilo Newton is 10 into 10 raised to 3, that is 10,000 Newton. Now, it is said that on this same machine, an effort of 1400 Newton. Now, the second value of effort is given 1400 Newton lifts a load of 22 kilo Newton. So it is 22 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. And we have to determine the law of machine. This is the question for us. See, whenever they are giving a problem in which two effort values and two load values are given, then we have to just understand that such kind of problem will be developing of law of machine. It means law of machine would be asked in that problem. Now, let us get started with this. So, I'll write the solution. Since law of machine, since the law of machine is given by the formula of law of machine is P is equal to M into W plus C. Now, I'll use this law of machine and put the values of effort and load given. So first, I'll write down P1. The value of P1 is 800. 800 is equal to M into W. W is 10 into 10 raised to 3. So it is 10 into 10 raised to 3 plus C. I will keep this as first equation. Next, I'll use the second condition. Effort is 1400 is equal to M into load is 22 kilo Newton. So 22 into 10 raised to 3 plus C equation number 2. So it means from the two load values and two effort values, we are getting two conditions. Now, if we solve them simultaneously, that is, I would be changing the sign here. And from this, C gets cancelled. Then here I have minus 1400 plus 800. That gives me minus 600 is equal to minus 22 into 10 raised to 3 plus 10 into 10 raised to 3. That gives me minus 12 into 10 raised to 3 m so negative negative will get cancelled from both the sides and 600 divided by 12 into 10 raised to 3 will give me m so the answer of m is 0 0.05 after getting this m value i will put it in equation number one so put m is equal to 0 0.05 in equation number one then I'll get the value of C. So therefore, here I have 800 is equal to M into 10 into 10 raised to 3. So it is 0 0.05 into 10 into 10 raised to 3 plus C. So from this, I will get the value of C. And my answer is, this will be 800 minus this term if I calculate that becomes 500 
so finally c value is 300 now after getting m and c values i can just write the law of machine and hence law of machine will be given by it will be given by it is p is equal to m into w m value we have got it is 0 0.05 into w plus c c is 300 this will be in terms of newton here i can write in the bracket that since p is equal to m into w plus c that is we have used this law of machine and we have found out the law of machine for the given certain machine and with this law of machine <coughs> if the value of load is given effort can be calculated if effort is given load can be found out and here we have developed the law of machine with this we complete the problem